Good morning, people. Of course, we're in the kitchen, and it's the first thing you need to know about being in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm an apologetic, I'm an unapologetic foodie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not so excited about what you're making this morning in the kitchen, though. Well? Yeah, bitter leaf soup. Well, when you remember the health benefits of bitter leaf, yeah, yeah. you would just yeah, right. dive into more So about this it. is Chef Mary Jane, and she has subtly moved from being a chef <laughs> to being a nutritionist, <laughs> which is why we love her, of course, definitely. And uh, we're making something really exciting. Um, fingers crossed on it for me, but I'm sure a, a lot of us love it. Who doesn't like uh, bitter leaf soup? Daru may alone. We we'll force knock you me to off, like right? <laughs> <laughs> we'll force you to like All right, it. let's talk about the ingredients. Good morning, today. everybody. Good it's great morning. to be here this morning. I'll be teaching how to make bitter leaf soup, the Anambra way. Okay. okay. What, yeah, there are different there other ways? ways. Yeah, there are different ways of making okay. bitter leaf soup. If you eat an emo woman's bitter leaf soup and an Anambra bitter leaf soup, the difference is very, very clear. What about, what about an Akwaibo woman's? <clears throat> it's not known for Akwaibom people. It's wow. an Igbo delicacy. Interesting. So let's talk about the ingredients. <laughs> okay, this, um, the, what we are going to be working on, the procedure is very easy. Mm. And um, as usual, you need to put out your things you're going to cook with so that you don't forget anything you want to put into your food. Okay. And for any other tips, you can visit our Instagram page for more. And um, we'll start with our ingredients. So we have, no, let's start here. Okay. Because of time, I had to boil my water and my oil. Normally, when you're making um, bitter leaf soup, you're meant to use the palm front, as in the palm nuts. Oh, okay. And you can extract oh, it. Oh, the oil from the palm front, that's what as you in, use for as, your As in soup. the palm oil syrup. Yeah. Yeah, so because we don't really have time on our mm. side, we, could ha we actually did something else. Okay. So what you do is to cook the oil so if you cook the oil, you get the same feeling you would have usually gotten if you had palm nuts, if you had used palm nuts. Okay. So I had to cook or rather boil the oil for a while till it was properly done. Okay. So that's why we have our oil mm -hmm. on fire. So we have our cocoa yam. Mm. That's what cocoa yams look like. The, the cocoa yam for bitter leaf soup, they're different. That's what it looks like. So it was boiled and um, we have and our... That's really soft. Yes, it's soft. Okay. We have our tripe. We have a beef. We what have tribe. Tribe. Shaki. Bomo. Mm -hmm. Shaki. Tribe. Bomo. Wow. Interesting. It's got tribe. <laughs> <laughs> we have okay. the stockfish. Okay, right here we have our ogiri. Ogiri. Our sweet smelling. <clears throat> I didn't say that, but it doesn't smell nice. But you don't want to try it In when when it's super, time for soup. Eh? It's um it's actually an Igbo seasoning. Mm. With this, some, most times you don't even need maggi or, sorry, seasoning, seasoning. cube. Okay, but this is iru really, mm. locust beans, yeah. but the Igbo version Igbo of version, it. Yeah. Okay, so we have our yellow pepper. I've already blended it here. We have our red pepper, it's already blended. We have our crayfish. We have our washed bitter leaves. Mm. Now, the, the trick behind this is when you're washing your bitter leaves, you don't need to remove the whole bitterness. If not, why is it bitter leaf? Anymore? I don't understand. Is that not the essence? So that, you, so that so it's sweet. We, so at least you can eat it. The right? bitterness, yes. Just take away the bitterness. What then is the bitter soup in it? Okay, so we have... Um, so how do you wash your bitter leaves? Because I'm very, very curious it's not about funny. how you wash it. It's not easy. Okay. Just take water and be washing it like you're washing clothes. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay. And I don't like using anything. I don't like boiling it. I don't like putting anything. I have to keep washing, washing it washing until so I get to the sure taste I'm looking for. Right, but we'll go so. through the ingredients quickly and then we'll take you through the process, guys. Okay, so um, we had our... Um, we have the stockfish, we have the pomo, we have the beef, we have the shaki, which is the tripe, already in boiling concussion for now. Mixture. Okay, so what she's calling concussion basically is, a is, what is um, water, hot water yes. and oil. Oil, oil. yes. Yeah. Then we have our cocoa yam. Mm. This is the type we use for um, bitter leaf. We have our washed bitter leaf. We have our palm, palm oil. oil. We have our ogiri. ogiri. We have the crayfish. <laughs> okay, um, we need to be quick about this. Okay. This is the cocoa yam already boiled. Now, sometimes you get stuck, you're in a place you don't have a mortar. Okay. Okay, so you can use a masher to mash your cocoa, cocoa yam. yam. So the, the idea is to mash it so that it doesn't have um, any kind of seeds, okay. of which the cocoa yam serves as the thickener. 
For the soup. For the soup. Okay. Okay, so it was mashed. I'm trying to make something called ori. Ori, ori. yes. Ori. I could, yes, it's called ori. I could have just put in my cocoa yam, okay. but when you have the cocoa yam mixed with red oil, it's called ori. It's called ori, and it gives the soup another taste. Mm. This is what makes bitter leaf, and then this is I a homemade never, bitter leaves. I told I you have when. I've never cooked bitter leaf soup before. So I'm really I'm hoping telling you that today. <laughs> when this is ready and I taste it and I You're love it, I'm going to just I'm like. I'm definitely going to try it out. You don't have a choice. Okay, so we are using the, um, the masher to mix it and at the same time trying to smooth it, smoothen it up. Mm. It would have been nice if we you had a mortar. mortar, like a small mortar. Yeah, but yeah. some houses you live in, you just don't want to hear somebody say, "Oh, just let it go." So we are making bitter <coughs> leaf soup here in the kitchen, and of course, Chef Mary J on the beat, and on your screen right there are the ingredients, guys. So check that out. All right. So where are we at? Okay. So after making the uri, we had to scoop it in little bits. You, we need to remind our viewers what uri oh, is. Uri is mashed. Or yeah, cocoa yam. mashed cocoa yam, mm. but it becomes ori when you put in a little red oil mm. and smoothen it together with it. It has a different taste. Mm. That's what makes it feel the homish, mm. tasty yeah. meal. And that's so what you, we use as a thickener. Yes, for it's our used as a soup. thickener. So it's already in the soup. We are waiting for it to um, dissolve into the soup. Mm. And once this is done, soup is actually ready. Are you serious? Yes. That easy. The rest are. Okay. The main thing is your uri. Make sure your uri is fixed. Then um, get it covered. Okay. So at what point do we add in our seasonings? Um, when it's almost done. Oh. All okay. Right. So we're going to turn this, get it covered, get it ready. Okay. Then so I'm just, so the boiling water over there. Oh, we're going to be to making a <laughs> bar. But um, right now, let's finish what we have here. Okay. And we can show behind the scenes later. Mm. Amen. <laughs> you will not kill me. <laughs> Amen, you will kill me. Okay. So let me just take you through the process, guys, once again, so that you have an idea of what's been going on here in the okay. kitchen, just in case you're just joining us. So you want to go through? You want to oh, yes. We had Great. the um, cocoa yam wa um, peeled, mm. washed, boiled, mashed, and after mashing it, you put in a little bit of red oil to make it an ori. Now, ori is serving as a thickener for, the uh, bitter leaf soup. for your bitter leaf soup, which mm. is in fact the major ingredient. There are other things you can use for thickener. Some people use ofo. What's ofo? I don't even know the English name. <laughs> there are some things we don't know their English okay. names. Okay. okay, so we have the ofo, and then um, we have our washed bitter leaves. Mm. This, I didn't boil. I like washing it to um, naturally, everything taste. is yes. Mm. So it's bitter leaf, bitter leaf. Then we have our unadulterated palm oil. Mm. Then we have our iru. This is not iru. This is ogiri. ogiri. I just said iru so that you understand where I'm coming from. So that's ogiri. The sweet smelling. I didn't say the rest, but we're <laughs> going to see. <laughs> we're going to get to the point. Okay. Then we have our blended pepper. You did talk about the crayfish and the salt. Oh yes, I'm coming there. Okay. We have a blended pepper. We have the red pepper in here mm. and the yellow pepper for aroma. There is the certain kind of aroma this yellow pepper gives to your soup. Amazing. Like, I mean, it's very amazing. it will blow your mind, guys. It's you should very, try it out. very amazing. I mean, you could, this actually replaces your Cameroon pepper. It's Cameroon pepper. It, it, is yes, it? Yes, I think that's what they call Cameroon pepper. Are you pepper. sure? Yes, yellow pepper. Are you sure? Okay, I think, okay, this is <laughs> the one they call Osen Sokka. Osen Sokka. Yes. <laughs> what else is Osen Sokka? I don't know. <laughs> and the cocoa, and the cocoa yam. Our soup has been tickened. Mm. We still have our meat, our tripe, and our um, stockfish. stockfish in yeah. it. So the next thing we want to put is the ogiri. ogiri. We want the ogiri. You just put it in tiny, tiny bits. I know someone could be wondering, why is she calling it ogiri? Ogiri. You remember the lady that, that one I said, ogiri. Come <laughs> and taste my ogiri. You don't remember her? Okay, yeah. Well, she was quite um, trending one time like that, but it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, the ogiri woman. The ogiri woman, the yeah. ogiri woman <laughs> yes. All right. Okay, so we want to put the ogiri in little bits. Would allow but it then to. How do you know how much ogiri to put in yours? According to how you want the aroma to come out. Do you want it strong? Yeah. Do you want it light? I love it strong. Okay. I haven't okay. used it before, so I guess I'll be looking out for so it. So if you're making a lubu soup, soup so and okay, you don't so let's have go through the process quickly, just in case. Okay, you so don't have we have the ogiri in it. Once mm. the ogiri is dissolved in what, it, what's going next? the next thing we need to put in is our bitter leaf. 
So the bitter leaf before the seasonings? Yes, because, because we, still we have want it to cook a little. Okay. We need the, um, the bitter leaf to cook a little first. Okay. So you put it in, um, stir properly. Okay. Do you have enough bitter leaf? Mm. And yes, then before you put in all the seasonings? Yes. Already, because we had it in our meat, we are not really so um, we have to eager to put the seasonings. We're only yeah. putting the seasonings just to be sure the taste is what we want to get. Oh, so, okay. Basically, so this soup is actually ready. So because we already put in our we have yeah. to... Yes, this is Ofo Nubu. It's mm. actually bitter leaves. Ofo Nubu. Yes, the home way, or rather the homemade type, mm. or... Okay. The Anambra style. Oh, it looks nice on camera. Yes. <laughs> the Anambra style. Smells good too. So we actually had coco yam, which we used as a thickener, mm -hmm. and the bitter leaves, and um, the ogiri, which gave it the flavor, mm -hmm. the real bitter leaf flavor. Yep. And we're serving it with oh, Eba. Cool. 